Hello, you're watching Avenue X, and today I want to talk about a recently started airing Chinese web drama featured Zheng Re Ai Pian Pegasus. This is a 28 episodes drama that has started airing recently on the platform Youku. For this IP Pegasus featured Zheng, the better known work would be its two films. The first one was released back in 2019, and this year, 2024, during Chinese New Year, we've seen the sequel of the movie across all cinemas in China. As for this drama version, the story itself picks up at the end of movie one, when the character played by Shen Teng in the movie version drives a car that flies off a cliff and kind of opened up an alternative universe story for the drama version is all played by different actors. Wang Yanlin, this actor, who's been around for quite some years, plays Shen Teng's character, ended up in ICU, in surgery, and then in recovery, he's in the coma state, and his consciousness gets transported five years back in time into the body of the character Lin Zhendong in the drama version, played by the actor Hu Xianxu, and in the film version, if you've watched it, played by the actor Huang Jingyu. In terms of timeline, in the drama version, it started with 2027, and then travel back in time five years 2022. So for this character that Wang Yanlin plays, Zhang Shi, he doesn't quite know why he travels back in time and into another person's body, but he does know that that probably would be his only opportunity to change his future so that he wouldn't end up in that fatal accident. And that was his motive to keep going back and wanting to stay in Hu Xianxu's character's body. Whereas Hu Xianxu at that time, in his timeline 2022, is a second generation rich guy of a big company that's built up by his parents. And he's the model student and model heir of a big business, but who's gotten a secret passion for rally racing since he was a kid. But due to all the tragedies that happened in his own life and his family, his mother forbid him ever doing that again, and he kind of shut that down for himself until obviously this consciousness traveling thing happens to him. It kind of propels him becoming a professional racer as well. So that is the drama version's relationship with the film version. You don't have to know about your original film to watch this drama at all, but if you do know, then it gives you a better worldview for the characters. This drama is directed and written by its own team, but the original author of the IP and also director of the film version, Han Han, is also a supervisor on this project. I've already said it's led by Hu Xianxu and Wang Yanlin. It also features very familiar actors such as Kan Qinzi, also older actors such as Yan Hexiang, Yu Entai. You also have a familiar guy from a previous drama where he worked with Hu Xianxu quite well, coming back to this and kind of create a second iteration of this coupling that a lot of people really adored, which is the actor Zhao Haohong playing the assistant to Lin Zhendong, Hu Xianxu's character. They previously have worked in Hikaru no Go. They didn't even change the name that much, for example, for Zhao Haohong's character. He was Hong He in the Go drama, and now he's Hong Hao in the uh, racing drama. And the drama made no effort to hide that. They know if you've watched the Go drama, you really would like these two guys coming back together and act as a team again. At the point I'm recording this video, I have just watched episode 13 of this drama. If the platform doesn't want to make extra buck on this drama, they probably will end it around 20th of March, according to their normal schedule. If it airs really well and they think there's a possibility to milk the cow a little bit more, they will do the watch the last I don't know, six, four episodes a week before our scheduled time and pay money. So that would happen a week earlier, just a little bit before the middle of this month. Right now, it's easy for me to just give it a two go mine. I am seeing a little bit potential of it slightly crashing a bit in certain department, but it's not yet 100% confirmed. Overall, I don't have many complaints about this drama. It has already exceeded most of the current ongoing contemporary dramas, in my opinion, around early March. 2024. So with all that in mind, I'll firstly talk about a couple of things that I think the drama is not doing perfectly and I wish they could do better. And then I'm going to talk about why I would still recommend you to check out this drama at least for a bit. There are a couple of things I think <laughs> are really worth watching. 
So on the not so ideal side of things, number one is a very average and general observation of Chinese dramas, which is even I'm only at halfway point of this drama, I can tell that there's watered down element intentionally, probably just made to fill up the body of the drama. I'd say if this drama can be a standard 40 minutes content per episode drama, 24, it will make it a lot better. It's just purely from the storytelling perspective that the thing can be trimmed up and be even better. But drama making is not really film, you know, sometimes you just have to make it bigger. The second thing that I do noticed right around actually episode 12, 13 that I've just watched today. Not so looking good sign of certain characters who are not the main character in this drama getting too much tension and weirdly too much monopolized screen time that's not helping the main plot. And even if you think about the character's integration with the main plot and why they are there and fulfilling that function and whether they could possibly do it realistically is a bit forced with the writing. They're totally intentionally setting up one character and another character so that they can be in each other's physical presence and have relationship development. I know I'm being vague, I just don't want to spoil it for you. But if you watch around episode 12, 13, you'll know what I mean. Because it's so obvious. The way it's shot and the music that goes with it and what's the point of suddenly putting this character's story in. So that's not a good sign. If the next 14, 15 episodes are going to be filled with these type of parts, it's just going to severely impact my experience and overall quality. And <laughs> I really pray it doesn't because there are a lot of things I do like about this drama. And so. I'm gonna move on to talk about still though what I think is worth watching about this drama, particularly earlier parts. Point number one. This is overall a very watchable story about rally racing. <laughs> it's not the type of drama where we're talking about doctors and then it's all romantic relationship. Right from the beginning it goes to the core of the story. The person goes into an accident, his consciousness travels back in time in five years and he's confused and he realizes he's in another person's body and then he almost has this superpower now because he knows what's gonna happen in the world most for the next five years so he can predict the future and he tries to change his past and his future. The pacing is very, very tight, particularly at the beginning when it tries to explain what's going on with the characters and it immediately uses this setup of the character to give you a lot of really engaging, funny, comedy heavy, great acting moment plot. And even when you're not a huge, say, rally championship, type of person, just as an engaging time travel consciousness, adding a bit of supernatural element to a realistic contemporary setting drama. This is a pretty enjoyable drama to watch. Point number two, I think this drama picked really good actors, super suitable actors for the roles. Zhang Shi and Lin Zhengdong in this story, Wang Yanling and Hu Xianxu, it just happens to work really, really well. And I really, really appreciate that Hu Xianxu is doing such a good job of separating the Lin Zhengdong himself character and Lin Zhengdong when he's occupied by Zhang Shi's consciousness. Sometimes even without any makeup help because he would be literally changing personality in one shot and you can't do any makeup change or clothing change in that moment. You can see that a different consciousness enters his body. You can easily tell in this particular second which character he is. It could come from that he has talent naturally. Also, he's a child star. He's already gotten um, many years of experiences under his belt. Also, I think he's a very old-fashioned actor, although he's very young. From the way he acts, or dealing with acting, when you listen to interviews he does, you can sense that he thinks of acting as a craftsmanship thing and approaching it from a very practical, skillful, playful angle. He takes acting seriously, but he doesn't take himself seriously. Sometimes you come across actors who, who are so just full of it and who thinks of acting as such a sacred thing that they come across as too pretentious. Whereas Hu Xianxu is the opposite young actor who is like, okay, let's try this, let's try that, let's play, let's have fun. If this doesn't work, let's tune it and do something else. He's completely open to that kind of process and he enjoys it. Like I said, approaches it more like a craftsman than the artist who lives in the ivory tower. And I can strongly sense that very grounded approach he has to acting in. I think it's very rare among the same age group actors who are working today in China. And I can totally tell when he is occupied by Zhang Shi, this character, he definitely has studied Wang Yanling, how Wang Yanling talks, 
facial expression, body language, tendency of movement, and just the way that the person vibes and he would try to copy that in his own body and when he is his own character totally a different design and I enjoy watching his acting so much and I guess I have a bit filter on him since early days when he was in all types of dramas I really liked the Nirvana Fire 2 where he was the uh, young prince and later becoming the ruler from that time to Hikaru no Go to now you really do see him growing up really well like he turned out really well as an actor and honestly after watching his performance in this drama I really do think that he has one of the greatest potentials among his peers now, Wang Yanling, he's been around for a lot longer. He's been in all types of dramas, grounded realistic dramas or completely out there period idol dramas. And this is a really suitable route. Zhang Shi, this rally racing guy who's running into his midlife crisis type of character suits him so well. And he works a really good chemistry with Kan Qinzi's role and also with Hu Xianxu's role. And since we're talking about actors and characters, I want to quickly say this drama has this very realistic style of acting. Even though it has that supernatural element, everything else is very grounded. It's not like those office romantic dramas that has slow motions and turning circles. You don't have that. <laughs> it's just a lot of very realistic grounded and talking like real human people. And I think it fits the particular genre and the theme of the story because it is talking about the rally championship type of race and it's a very grueling sport so you need that level of reality so that brings me to the last positive point i want to talk about about this drama which is it is about car race in particular the rally race i am not an expert by any means but at least based on what i've seen it looks like overall a realistic enough representation of the sport and the people in it how it works and what it takes and I guess the specific professional things that's interesting for an outsider to look. It doesn't actually go into details about explaining everything about it, but with the characters doing their daily jobs and maintenance and practices and talking to each other, you kind of build up a picture of how this sport works in your head. And I appreciate that a drama does this much work and it's one of those more expensive expensive dramas you will be making like last year's mango drama that's about the formula racing because you're doing this story it's going to be more expensive than everything else you have to rent you have to actually get a car you have to train the actors to drive and all that incurs a lot of costs and others if you're interested in this type of sport what type of competitions people go through what are the details cars racing you know it's always exciting to look at that and then the drama will go to later part where they will go to the big international competition like an even more on top of everything added value of watching this drama so far i'm very entertained by this drama although it's not perfect and i'm worried about certain parts it's gonna cause problems and fall fingers crossed it's just gonna stop there and not ferment and get even worse later i still want this drama to be mostly focused on the race the two characters the guys their consciousness traveling and how they resolve that problem and whether they can change the future since it's a spin-off and parallel universe almost story it would have nothing to do with the uh, movie second but i do hope that the characters in the drama version as they are will get their happy ending i really do care about these characters also like i said earlier to watch it till the end the strongest motivation for me now is to watch Hu Xianxu, this young actor and how he plays this role because i'm so entertained surprised by his ability to play this role to this detailed level and almost ease he has at this age it's almost like a happy feeling you get as an older generation in the family to see the younger people growing up really well and you're like oh, it's just so nice to see that thing happening in time over the last how many years that i've had this channel pretty much and he is the main lead character of the movie version of Yi Ren Zhixiang, where the drama version also from yoku was played by Peng Yuchang. We haven't heard anything about when the movie is gonna get released. It may happen this year, may not. I cannot wait to see his performance of Zhang Chulan, that character, in the movie version. I do believe that he lost a lot of weight and got a lot of muscle for that rose. <laughs> Fingers crossed it's gonna turn out to be another pleasant surprise. That should be the end of this video. Thank you for watching Avenue X. Hope that's useful for you to decide whether you should invest your time into watching Fei Chun Sheng Zhuai Pian, the web drama version of Pegasus. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.